Hey, y'all, Grand Rising. So let's jump right in. Let's see what does the collective need to receive today. Okay. So we have uh, goodness, morality, merit making. You know, I feel like you're getting a blessing here for being a pure, kind soul. We have imagination, fantasy, uh, mind, and we have okay. Bottom of the deck, we have here luck. All right. So I'm picking up like spirit is granting a wish, something with your imagination that you have been trying to manifest, something that you have been focusing on, wanting to uh, accomplish, daydreaming about, all right? Spirit is like, okay, we got you, all right? And here it is, you know, you're getting some type of good luck, uh, abundance, it could be money, it could be uh, uh, opportunities, it could be something, some, some type of abundance is coming in, but I'm seeing a check, all right? I'm seeing a check here. So let's see. And that check, it has a uh, 10... Ten million dollars on it, so <laughs> it could be that. Maybe somebody gonna win the the lottery. It says here jackpot, fortune, and reward. I think it's it's definitely a reward for again for being a, a good person, for being somebody with morals, for being pure. Tell me more. And and this this abundance is different for everybody. Remember, it's a collective reading, okay? So everybody is going to be different. All right, we have a loss here. Uh, a commitment, a loss. Maybe somebody had to break up with somebody. All right. What I'm seeing with those cords, though, is like this person was trying to have you trapped. All right. Look how it says here, uh, a, a binding. It says obstruction and contract. So there's definitely something going on where... My bad, y'all was in the in the garden and I got this shit in my nails. <laughs> anyway, so this is all giving me a vibe. Like somebody is trying, somebody was trying to bind you. They was trying to, maybe they could have done, they could have been doing black magic. All right. But you persevered, you know, you didn't let this person bind you. You didn't let these people hold you back or this person to hold you back. So you left it in the past. And I feel like that was the test. All right. That was a test to see how you was going to do this. If you was going to do this. All right. And I feel like you did. So now you're getting this blessing. All right, you stop the bullshit. Yeah, you stop the stress. You stop whatever the source of, of stress was, you stopped it. And I'm getting it could it could have been a person. It could have been a connection. All right. Again, a connection that was holding you back, that was trying to even bind you with black magic, or just bind you and keep you in the past, keep you in a low vibration, keep you stuck. Yeah, I just saw a curse. Tell me more. Yeah, withdrawal. They didn't want you to withdraw. Some of these people could have uh engaged in certain, you know, drug activities with you. Um, they could have been wanting to get you addicted to drugs, but I'm just seeing for sure it was, they didn't want you to withdraw. They didn't want you to withdraw from drugs or from dumb or both. All right. Again, they wanted to keep you in a low vibration by any means necessary. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, so that you could compromise, so that you could be uh, stuck with them. All right, and there's something about gain here. So this person was doing this for their own, their own personal gain. All right, it could be a uh, financial gain. Uh, it says here profit. Okay, so definitely whatever it was, it wasn't for, it wasn't for a good reason. You know, it's not coming out of love. Like this person just wanted you to be there for their own, their own, uh, their own reason for their own gain. I'm getting like it wasn't a recipro it was, there was no reciprocity. Oh shit. No reciprocity here. Yeah, look. Right. So I feel like again, there was some type of black magic going on here. It says here, mystery magic and ceremony. There was definitely some type of black magic going on. And this person was only doing that for their gain, for their own gain. All right. For some of y'all, this connection, it could have been over a long time ago before it was over. You know, that could have been y'all. Her on the phone talking to somebody, you on the phone talking to somebody else, or watching something else, you know? Like it could have been like that for a while. So it was like it was long overdue already. All right. Yeah, look, it was definitely something going on with a demonic attachment here. Like this person was causing blockages in your life. All right. And she was doing all this with her, her black magic to try to keep you there. She didn't want you calm. She wanted you stressed out so she could keep you in a low vibration. 
she, she could keep on doing black magic on you. She could keep on trying to tap into your energy. And what's this? We have here persuasion, bribe, or temptation. So maybe this person even tried to bribe you or tempt you to come back. But spirit is like, nope, you, you was not doing that. You was like, nah, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to lock myself up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So definitely don't, don't go back. All right. With stubborn, spirit is saying that this person is, is not going to change. This person don't want to hear it. This person doesn't give a fuck. They're not going to change. All right. So you did the right thing walking away from the situation. Yeah. The coach, you did the right thing listening to the guidance. Uh, maybe you, you got a personal reading or maybe these readings are guiding you. And spirit is saying, continue to listen to the guidance because you're doing exactly what you need to do. And that's going to get you to this abundance. Okay. All right. So let's pull some cards from here. Too many. Hold on now. Yeah. Take a leap of faith. Absolutely. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. But know that you're not alone. Know that you are protected. All right? You're not, you're not alone on this journey. It says lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. You cannot make this up. <laughs> you can't. All right? You're, you're seeing, look, again, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You see what I'm saying? This song has been in my head all week. I've been saying it in the readings all week. This week is a week of awakening for a lot of, uh, a lot of the people in the soul tribe. All right? A lot of them are waking up. A lot of them are starting to see things clearly. A lot of us are starting to see things clearly, all right, in different situations. But I'm getting for sure this is a karmic connection here that somebody's finally seen through the veil. They're seen through the mask. They're seen through all the bullshit, all the illusions that was put uh, in this connection so that this person would never wake up, so that this person would never see what's really going on behind the scenes, all right? Spirit is helping you to see through the veil. They're saying that anything that is unaligned must go, Okay. Uh, question everything. Absolutely. Question everything. Uh, be alert. When I be saying stay woke, I know that it sounds funny like stay woke, right? But I'm really saying be alert. All right. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention and question everything around you. All right. Because there's a lot of people out here that they don't move like us. You see how it says here that you moving, you moving on, on goodness, humanity, morality. People don't move like that, like us. All right. Not everybody's like us. That's why I said, like, this is definitely the devil's playground out here. And we're here to bring light and love and all that shit into, the, into this world. Because this world is definitely not like this. All right, look, we have thriving and we have here don't stop. Okay, so we have the seven of swords. There's something about you having to come up with a game plan. All right. And, and I feel like it's a game plan to get away from the situation. So, again, some of you already did this, already walked away from something that doesn't serve you. And you're going to get these blessings. But now I'm trying to coach somebody that hasn't done it yet. All right. That's what Spirit is saying here with the coach card. You know, like we're guiding you. Yeah, look, we're guiding you to give you this, this, this aid. Look at this. This aid, this help. All right. Mercy <laughs> and this justice. All right. To put you back on your, on your destiny, on your purpose. Because this person was trying to keep you in a, in a low vibration and keep you in a, in a place that you don't belong anymore. All right? You were supposed to learn from this karmic situation and keep it pushing. This person was trying to keep you there as long as they can to keep on getting what they can out of you. All right? So Spirit is trying to help you now and telling you to come up with a game plan. Seven of Swords is a strategy. All right? It could be somebody moving funny behind your back, but what I'm getting right now is a strategy. They want you to strategize. How are you going to get out of this situation? What's going to be your next move? Let your next move be your best move. There you go. Bo move. <laughs> Let your next move be your best move. Okay? Yeah. All right. So definitely. All right? Remember the saying here, don't stop. Again, perseverance. Persevere. Don't give up. Do not give up because you all you got. And the energy that you're in right now, you don't want to stay here, all right? So thriving, you're going to be thriving, you're going to be successful, you're going to be good, but you got to move on. You got to walk away. You got to run away, <laughs> all right? Something about this energy, like running away and shit. All right, so we have here wisdom. I've, look, learn from the spiritual experiences, absolutely. These two cards talking about the same thing. You learned from this situation. You were supposed to learn from that. That's all this connection was, a karmic connection for you to learn from. And you gained a lot of wisdom, okay, from this situation. I feel like whatever you learn here, you are also meant to be a great teacher. 
when they told me this, I didn't believe it. When I, when I first started to wake up and I went to a reader, they told me I was going to be a teacher. I was like, yeah, right. I hate school. I never want to work in no damn school. This bitch is bugging. I want my money back. <laughs> but what she didn't see until now, like, I, you know, down the line, I ended up getting deeper into it. And I found out it was a teacher, but it wasn't a, a school teacher. And there's no offense to the school teachers. Yeah, we, we need you guys. But I'm just not with it. I don't got patience for that. So <laughs> what I ended up finding out was that I'm supposed to be a spiritual teacher. Okay. Learn from spiritual experiences gain the wisdom and then help others, you know, use your voice, use your hands, the cards, your voice, like I'm doing now to give clarity, guidance, all of that. Right. So you, whoever I'm talking to, you're also a great teacher. All right. You're also somebody who's supposed to learn from these experiences, from these karmic connections and whatever knowledge you have gained from this situation, you are going to teach others one day how to get out of the situation. Basically, you're going to do what I'm doing. You know, you, I've been through this too. I'm going through it now with the collective. We all collectively go through the same thing in different forms. So I'm helping y'all. And that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be helping somebody or helping a group of people, you know, spirits that, that, that God is going to align on your path that need your guidance, that need your, you know, your experience and need, need some love. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're going to be doing that too. All right. Something about a white dog and a white and a white bird. Maybe y'all been seeing doves. Maybe y'all have a white dog. Maybe y'all been seeing something like that. But that will resonate for somebody. Um, I'm also seeing here five. Change. Okay. Change is, is coming. Change is needed. Change is required to be where you want to be. All right. And, and where you want to be is right here. Relaxation. Living your best life. Again, being calm. Being uh, at ease. You don't want to be stressing no more. You don't want to be dealing with no, no toxicity no more. You don't want none of that shit. As you should, you know. We have ultimate withdrawal. Emotional. Why did I say ultimate? Well, it could be the ultimate withdrawal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is the ultimate withdrawal because it's needed. I feel like this is the last step before you get to where you need to be. So we have withdrawal twice here. Okay, so twice. You need to withdraw. This is what they were trying to avoid. They didn't want you to withdraw your energy from this connection. But Spirit is saying, emotional withdrawal. It's needed. You have to let this shit go. All right? You had to let go to grow. Uh, I'm also seeing to spend time by the water for sure as well. The number eight could be significant for you. Um, eight is abundance. Eight is commitment. You know, being committed to your journey, being committed to your healing, being committed to... Your, your purpose and what the divine wants you to do, all right? Um, spend time by the water. If you, could, if you could get out and go be by the water, do that, all right? Uh, let me turn the light on, y'all. I feel like it's dark. Oh, all right. If you could go out and be by the water, there we go. Definitely do that, all right? That's going to help you to clean, to clean your, your energy, you know, like to, to remove all the shit that you had on you from before. All right. What else? Enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. All right. So you have to take action on what your heart is telling you to do. Your heart is telling you right now to walk away. Follow your heart. No matter what's going on right now, God is going to make sure that everything works out in your favor if you take the guidance. Okay, there's nobody that could hold you back. Just understand that no matter what they tell you, no matter what they try to, uh, I'm hearing blackmail, <laughs> blackmail you with whatever it is, God is going to make sure that you come out winning because you are God's child. All right. And God is trying to guide you away from these energies, but you have to trust. You cannot let fear be in your way. You have to take a leap of faith. Like I said, in one of those cards, you have to. All right, look, we have here security. I feel like you definitely are protected. All right, stability, expansion, the hermit, blessings. All right, you, you have your ancestors always with you. They're saying you are protected. All right, and they're saying hermit, go in hermit mode. You need to, again, get away from this energy. Hermit is giving me a hermit crab, so somebody could be a cancer. Uh, hermit is also in tarot, the Virgo, somebody could be a Virgo. But I'm just seeing for sure, like, it's time for change. It's time to free yourself from this situation. All right? Yeah, you got to go find balance. All right? And this is not going to have you in balance. So, hope I was able to help y'all. Peace.